Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you're new, welcome to my channel. We're gonna be talking all about my favorite nude lipsticks. These are my go-tos, my favorite nude lip combos, lip pencils, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, all of that. So if you guys are interested on in seeing my top favorite nude lippies, then let's go ahead and jump right on. So before we get into this, if you guys are new, your girl only wears nude lipsticks. It is a very rare occasion if I don't wear a nude. If I'm wearing a red or like a very deep color or like a burnt color, it's an occasion. Or like it's, I'm feeling some type of mood. I'm always wearing that type of neutral lip. That's just my favorite, something that I've loved for years and it's like my comfort kind of color. So of course makeup is fun and um, yeah, wearing different colors is amazing and I love all different types of lip colors, but I feel like nude is my Thing, you know, so I figured I would go ahead and share with you guys my favorite nude lippies I gathered them up right over here in this little Drawer, so I'm gonna start off with my first lip liner you guys. This is my holy grail lip liner It's the NYX lip pencil in the color nude beige you guys my absolute favorite It is the perfect nude at least for myself I love to line my lips with it but also can fill in my entire lips and wear it as a lipstick and be good to go as an all-over color it's just such a pretty nude color. This is what it looks like when it's swatched. I'm so obsessed with this. It is a sharpenable lip pencil, so mine kind of looks a little crazy right now, but that's because I like to fill it in. And it's just the perfect nude. It's a little bit on the deeper nude side, so you can totally wear a lighter nude on top of it and kind of have that like contrast or wear it, like I said, on its own. And there's a few other colors from NYX that are amazing as well that are nude that look astonishing on the lips and can be a dupe for a lot of higher end lip liners. The wear of these lip liners is incredible. Like they will last me all day long. I'll put it on in the morning, I'll eat, do whatever I gotta do. And then by the end of the day, it's still lingering on. Of course it's gonna fade a little bit, but it's not like a weird kind of vibe, you know? Like it still kind of looks okay on the lips and I just am obsessed with the way that it looks. So I'm wearing it today. And I did put another color on top of it, but that's the lip liner that I'm wearing and I am just in love. So if there's one lip liner I'm gonna recommend from any of this, you need to try the nude beige if you are anything like me and love nudes. I mean, you are watching this video, but um, yeah, definitely try nude beige. So that's the first lip liner that I seriously have 12 of. Like there's three on my desk right now that are sharpened and like this big. And then this is a new one that I just picked up, but. I'm always using it, so. So since we're talking about NYX, I do have one right here that's part of their suede collection, and this one is in the color Sandstorm. They do have a liquid lipstick that does go along with this that I'm about to mention with you guys in a little bit, but they are so good. Like, And it just feels super soft on the lips. It's pretty similar to the Nude Beige, but it's a little bit off in color. Like the tone is a little bit different. Like I said the NYX ones are so good. Definitely as like a dupe for a higher end one, so I always, always recommend the NYX lip liners. So this lip liner right here, I believe is limited edition, but you could probably still find it. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, because I really do love it. It is the Elf Times Nabella collection. This one is called Marina Nude. It is a perfect nude color, you guys. It's a little bit of a deeper nude. It is super beautiful. It's like almost like a brownie kind of nude. I am so in love with this. It's beautiful to line the lips, but also to fill them in. Like I do with all of my lip liners, I hardly ever just line. I'll always line and fill in either just a little bit or the complete lip and then either add something on top of it or leave it be. And this is one of those lip pencils that are so smooth and buttery that it feels like you're just applying a lipstick, but dries down pretty fast. So like the line is there to stay, you know? Like it's super smooth glide. I'm obsessed. I really hope that this is not like a limited color. I hope that they make it like a real color forever because it is so beautiful. It's not like a hard tug at all. Very easy to glide, really nice blendability, and it looks super pretty on the lips. So another drugstore lip liner is from LA Girl. It's in the color Cafe, and it is another sharpenable pencil. Beautiful color. Oh, you guys, it is so pretty. It's Pulls the same kind of tone as all of these. It's a little bit more on the deeper side and it's just so pretty. I love it. If you're looking for one that's really inexpensive, I always say LA Girl, NYX. Those are my go-to lip liners from the drugstore. They're just awesome. It lasts all day long. This one is part of the Perfect Perfection line from LA Girl. So I'm obsessed with this one. They do make a few other nude colors, but this is the one that I feel like is perfect for my skin tone. Now I have two higher end type of lip liners. This one is from KKW Beauty, and this one is the nude color in Nude 2. You guys, I did not like this at first, 
but the more that I was using it, you guys, this is the perfect deeper nude lip color. And I really wanna go back and get the 01 color, which I probably will like literally this week, but it is beautiful. This one's the one that you have to sharpen. I haven't even gotten a chance to sharpen it yet. That's like how much I'm savoring this. So this is what it looks like when it's swatched. So this one's a little bit more on the deeper side, a little bit more like brownie like, and I really thought that it wasn't gonna pull this color. Like it started pulling more orangey on me, but the more that I kept using it, I was like, no, no, no. If I'm pairing it with the perfect lip color, it definitely pulls a little bit more brown like. So it's just a very deep nude and I am obsessed with it. This glides on the lips so smooth. It's one that I outline and kind of blend in a little bit more into the center of the lips and just like blot with my finger and it looks stunning. Like. I love it. It stays on my lips all day long. Really, really pretty. So yeah, love it. Again, a little bit more on the deep side, but it's really pretty if you're like pairing it with a lighter nude in the center or, you know, wearing a really dark nude all over the lips. It's a really pretty lip liner. Now there are so many lip liners from MAC that I absolutely adore. Honestly, like, there's so many on my desk right now there, but I'm just gonna talk about this one, which is the name Strip Down. And you guys have probably heard about this obviously before. There's so many dupes out there for this one, but I always go back to it as well. Even if I'm using the dupe, which is pretty much like the NYX line, I always stick to those. Um, but this one still is really, really pretty and I just always go back to it. MAC is just one that I'll always go back to. It does blend out really nicely. It creates a really nice line and it's not like hard to apply, but they are a little bit more on the pricier side. So when I can do a dupe, I will, but this is one that, you know, has always been an oldie, but a goodie type of product for me. And I always go a little bit deeper with my lip liners, which you can probably tell. And then when I go in with the lipstick or lip color, it's a little bit lighter. It's not always the same color, obviously, depending on how I'm feeling that day to rock it, but I kind of keep my lip liners a little bit deeper. So now getting into the actual lipsticks and lip colors, I'm gonna start off with a drugstore one right here. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this one's in the color Nudist. So first off with these ones, perfect application. The wand on here and the little applicator is so perfect. It's like a little point. So it does bend with your lips. So this little applicator does kind of mold and shape to your lips and it has a really nice point on it. So it's pretty easy to carve out your lips as well and then fill it in. This one kind of has a hint of a like pinky nude to it, but nothing too crazy. It's still like in the light nude family, which I love. And I love the way that these apply and stay on the lips. They glide on super easy. Formula of this is like so soft. And then when it dries down, it stays on your lips all day. So that's something you're gonna notice with all of these, obviously. The fact that I like them is because they wear really nicely. Like they don't kind of wear off your lips in a weird way or like a nasty way around your lips. Love it, they smell really good too. They smell so good. So yeah, this one's one I've been using for a while and I just really like it. So it will dry down in a few seconds to be matte. So this one is from CoverGirl and this is part of their Queen collection. This is the Queen collection major shade in the color Cakewalk. Absolutely love this. I used to wear this like literally every day last year. It was my go-to lip color. It is a little bit lighter than this one, but it is so pretty. These smell like candy, like I wanna eat this. It smells so, so good. It does have a little bit of a lighter vibe to it, but the way that it applies on the lips and looks on the lips is so pretty and the way it actually dries down as well. Like I don't like when lip colors look a certain way when they're wet and then when they're dry, it's a totally different color. Like you don't get that with these. As soon as it's dry, it looks the same exact way as when it's swatched or been applied. And so this one from NYX is the Sandstorm one. This is part of the Liquid Suede collection. Now I did share with you guys the lip liner and their applicator on here is pretty cool. It's a little bit longer than your typical doe foot applicator and it just kind of fits the lip perfectly. I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but for me, it fits my lips like perfectly. Of course, when you're outlining the lips, you wanna be careful, but I feel like this one is like kinda of easy and does the work for you, if that makes sense. Like, I love it. So this is what it looks like when it's swatched. It is a little bit deeper now. Now we're moving into a little bit more of like, I don't wanna say purple nude, but it's definitely like a deep nude. It's like a really pretty soft type of lip finish. Like, it is matte, but it definitely looks like it's like soft. It doesn't look like it's like your lips are crusting off. Like, you know, that look and that vibe, not cute. So this lip color right here is from e.l.f. It's their lip plumping gloss in the color Champagne Glam. Now it's not so much of a nude color, 
I mean, I guess it is, but it's very much like sheer and I like to add it on top of my nudes to make it a gloss or even on its own, like it still picks up a little bit of that champagne nude kind of look to it, but it's not straight up like full color, like it's a lot sheer like. So I will put that right over here so you guys can see. It's like a very light, I guess you could say nude, but it to me just pulls on the lips like just very natural like, and it does have that plumping kind of factor to it. So my lips do appear a little bit larger and it just looks great. It looks awesome on top of any of these lip colors. And that's what I like to do. I like to mix them on top. So yeah, this is one that I've been using forever and it does the trick. It's literally like $4. Like you can get a lip plumping gloss that is not breaking the bank and it's still looking bomb on the lips. It does have some sparkle to it, which is more of the nude sparkle and like champagne sparkle to it. I still consider it a nude because even if I'm wearing it alone, it still looks nude for myself. So yeah, I'm wearing this a ton. So another lip color that is super affordable is from Pixi. Now they have a lot of liquid lipstick that look just like this. Now this one is a collab with Miriam. I believe that's how you say her name. Um, but they have a ton of other nude ones that are just solely on its own with Pixi that are also amazing. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because of the applicator right here. This one definitely can be a dupe for one of the higher end ones I'm about to mention after this. But basically that little applicator right there is so easy to apply on the lips. Like it's again, that point really easy to go ahead and outline first if you're not using a liner or even if you did use a liner, like it's not messy and one of those ones that you don't have to like think to outline and like be super precise and careful. It kind of just does the work for you and it's not like a harsh application. So it's really, really pretty. I love it. This one is in the color Posh Nude and it's right here. It looks a little bit more like a pinky nude, which I'm okay with, but I freaking love it. It does dry down to be a really soft matte finish. So it just looks like healthy on the lips, not crusty or anything like that. Like it is pretty comparable to one of the Smashbox ones that I'm going to mention in just a second. Moving into more of the higher end nude lipsticks. These are from Smashbox. These are the ones I'm talking about that are kind of comparable to that one. They are the always on liquid lipsticks. We have the color Stay Neutral and Fair Game. So pretty. So I'm gonna swatch Fair Game for you first. It is like the perfect nude. And I know I keep saying that, but like it actually is like, oh, a little bit more of the lighter nude for me but it looks really really pretty when I'm like this tone and not self tanned I feel like when I'm self tan it could be a little bit too light for me but then if that's the case I'll pop it into the center and it'll be a beautiful like lip topper kind of like placed in the center like blot it out with my finger kind of gives more of that like contrasted vibe to the lips makes them look a little bit larger when you do that so that's what I like to use this one for if it's too light of a color to use on its own the applicator on this is pretty similar to that pixie one and just really easy to apply on the lips. The point on it is really easy for the top of your cupid's bows. Then we have this one being stay neutral. And this one is a nice deep brown kind of nudes. A lot deeper in tone and it dries down to be like very dark, which I like. I will kind of sometimes use this one first and then use the fair game over it in the center. And it'll just kind of give that illusion of my lips being a little bit bigger because we have the darker lip color and then the lighter one in the center and it kind of pulls that illusion. So I like using that sometimes mixing the two. So yeah, when I'm not using this on its own, that's what I'll do, but it's a beautiful dark lip color to use on its own as well. Then we have a velvet lip glide and this one's from NARS. This is in the color stripped. It is a nice light pale kind of nude. And again, with these ones, I do like to mix them with other ones. This one is really pretty because it's not so much like matte, it's velvety like it says in the name. So it's a very, very light pale nude color. I'm gonna apply a little bit right now. That's what it looks like. I love it. Like it feels so good on my lips. Share two MAC lipsticks because I could not do a nude lipstick video without sharing a MAC one. I've always used MAC lipsticks called Japanese Maple. It's a beautiful nude color. This is part of their cream sheen collection. So it doesn't have a matte finish at all. It's kind of just like shiny. Like it just looks really pretty on the lips. Again, it's a really nice pale nude and it's very light but it looks great if you are using it on top of another one. So say I had this lip color on right now, I would pop a tiny bit of this in the center and it looks so gorgeous. This is definitely one that I always go back to forever and always. And then we have this color right here called Yash and it is a matte color. So it's a pretty nude again. I know I keep saying that, but like what else am I supposed to say? <laughs> 
right here. So again, it's a little bit lighter in color, but this one with Japanese maple over top of it looks gorgeous. Like, oh, yes. So I would pair this probably with any one of those lip liners. Next up, we have two glosses, and I believe that wraps up all of these lip colors. This one being the Kylie Gloss, and this one's in the shade Literally. I am so in love with this gloss. I wear it all the time. I get so many questions on this one, like when I'm wearing a gloss and it's nude, they're like, what lip color are you wearing? And it's always this being topped off. I don't know what makes them look so good, but my lips look so juicy and like just, a beautiful nude lip color. So this is what it looks like when it is swatched. It is a little bit of a deeper color. Now I will say that when it is swatched, it's not the fullest color that you get on your lips, at least for me. It's a lot darker when it's on my lips and I ha was wearing this in the beginning of the video. So I did line my lips with nude beige, topped it off with a little bit of, I forgot to mention a lip color, but I topped it off with this and then I went in with this on top. So I'll get into this one in a second. I'm so obsessed with this lip gloss. It is the perfect nude gloss. So much pigment to it. It's not sheer at all. It lasts on my lips a while. And I mean, the brush is like whatever, but I can work with that. So yeah, that is what it is right there. I am so obsessed. I'm wearing it all the time. So this is the one that I actually forgot to mention before. This is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dubai. So as you can see, it being on the wand, it looks really deep and like almost like a gray nude, if that makes sense. But when you apply it to the lips, it kind of looks really light. That's its swatch. It's a very light nude. So it does look pretty light on my lips if I'm gonna wear it alone. And that's why I don't always wear it alone. I'll wear it with a lip liner, being one of these deeper ones. And then sometimes I'll top it off with a gloss or I'll just use this to kind of apply lightly into the center and then blot with my finger. And it just gives a beautiful look to the lips. The formula of the Ofra liquid lipsticks are no joke. They last on your lips all day. Like I'm saying all day. Super, super good quality. They're not that expensive. I love them. I always rave about them. They're just lip colors that I know will not move like mm -mm. it's really pretty when you mix or put it over top so i love it last new lip that i have for you guys is a gloss and this one is from fenty beauty it is their gloss bomb this is a deeper type of nude for being a gloss still is in the nude family but it's definitely more sheer i love the way they smell i love the way that it applies does have a really nice lasting power as well. For being a gloss, it does not fade all that fast and still makes my lips look really juicy and healthy and plump. When I'm not wearing it alone, I will wear it over top of any of my matte liquid lipsticks. So yeah, those are all of my nude lipsticks that I wanted to share with you guys. There are probably so much more in my collection. Like I have an overabundance of nude lipsticks and they all do kind of look the same, but these are the ones that I know won't do me wrong. These are my favorites. These are ones that I feel like you should try. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and maybe found it a little bit helpful. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.